Hey guys, welcome to Equator Zero and today we will talk about security on Android and how you can secure yourself from attacks by viruses and malware. Recently, Google Play Store deleted an app named Energy Rescue, which seemed like a battery saving app but was actually a ransomware. Ransomware is basically a malware that locks your personal data and asks for money to unlock it. PC ransomwares have been around for years and even the Android ones are not that much new, but this one was a little different. So how did this work? Whenever a user downloaded Energy Rescue from Google Play Store, the app would infect the device with an embedded ransomware called Charger. Charger then would steal contacts and SMS data from the infected device and gain admin permissions to lock the user out. Then the app would display the following warning. You need to pay for us, otherwise we will sell portion of your personal information on black market every 30 minutes. We will give 100% guarantee that all files will restore after we receive payment. We will unlock the mobile device and delete all your data from our server. Turning off your phone is meaningless. All your data is already stored on our servers. We still can selling it for spam, fake, bank crime, etc. We collect and download all of your personal data. All information about your social network, bank accounts, credit cards. We collect all data about your friends and family. Charger would ask for 0.2 bitcoins, which is approximately $180. The ransomware on Android before this one would ask for around $15, but since Charger somehow managed to get into Play Store, they demanded $180. The app stayed on Play Store for only 4 days but managed to get downloaded 1 million to 5 million times. Charger was an advanced ransomware and it would check the following conditions before infecting the device. It would check if the user was located in the following countries and if they were located in these countries, the app won't infect the device. It would also check if the app was being run on an Android emulator. So how can you protect yourself from all these attacks? There are certain things you can do like don't install APKs from developers and websites you are not sure about. Many people want paid apps so much that they are willing to put their privacy at risk to save some money. There are many adwords and viruses disguised in the form of your favorite app that once you install can compromise your security. Don't open links from unknown people. Many hackers send phishing links to your email ID that might look legit but takes you to a fake website that will collect all your data including your passwords. Update your Android. Android has started giving security patches and all you have to do is simply update your phone when that OTA arrives. That's it for today guys, I hope you liked this video and if you did, please leave a like and comment your questions down below. Subscribe to us for more tech videos and we will see you in the next one.